Friday the 2nd of October. And you see the lorry. And as you can see, we're in the car. It's just gone eight in the morning. Um, and we're headed to Wells. I'm not gonna do a Welsh accent because we all know what I sound like. So we're headed to Wells because we're doing something really exciting today. Um, as you know, this year of 2020 has been a bit of a shambles. And as you also know, Dan and I were due to be getting married in February 2021. Um, we have now postponed that because number one, the rule of 13 we were not going to do, let alone the rule of 15 we're not going to do. So we postponed that. So to celebrate postponing or just to have a little bit of something to look forward to, we decided to get a puppy. How are you feeling? Excited. Really excited. We've said we wanted one. Yeah, we have. So when Dan and I met, we always spoke obviously about families and marriage Jasper and dogs. dogs well. And yeah, and Jasper literally adores dogs. Um, sorry about the quality, by the way. I'm filming on my phone because I forgot my camera. Um, and then obviously we were living in rented accommodation, so we we you know it wasn't the right time to get a dog. Then we had Jasper, and our lives were like overtaken by that. Um, and then when we moved into our house this year that we own it was something that we said we would always do the next step would be to buy a dog um so yeah it's kind of come at the right time now in respects of like jasper's now a year and a half like 19 months we feel like he's at a good age he's getting a bit more independent um but he's also still young enough to like learn in regards of like we can teach him how to be around a dog he's surrounded by dogs anyway like my mum has a dog my nan has a dog my dad has a dog like he's been surrounded by them anyway hasn't he um so there's never been any worries in that respect we recently dog sat for my mum uh, for like a weekend just to see how jasper would be in respect of having our divided time between him and a dog over a weekend and not just for like an hour and he was absolutely brilliant so we've been doing some research and we've found a couple so yeah, we're heading to Wells today to go and look at one that could potentially be coming home to us mid-October, like the 13th to the 16th around those dates. So a little like pre-birthday treat for myself. Um, and yeah, just a little autumn winter addition to our family because we're ready for it and it's very exciting and I feel quite nervous. Did sleep the best last night because I've been a bit excited. No, it was would um so yeah but are you feeling excited very excited about yeah this. yeah um so yeah basically we're just gonna go and have a little look today hello papa hello <laughs> we're gonna um go and have a little look today there's a pick of two which is always difficult because i mean how do you ever pick a puppy from a litter um but they're slightly different so, so we'll see two, two miles left two miles left and a girl um, we are going for a male dog, by the way. Did I say the breed? Did I say the breed? No, you haven't. So we're going to get a Labrador, of course. Like, I mean, I grew up with a Labrador. He was literally my pride and joy. And with regards to having a small family, I just think Labs are just ideal as a perfect first family pet. Yes, they mould. Yes, they're big. But we've got the house. We've got the garden. We've got the facilities around us. We live in the countryside, so why not? Um, but yeah, so I will update you when we get there, but we've got about one hour 50 left of the journey. We've literally only just set off, but I just needed to document this because it's exciting. So yeah, how are you feeling, J-Bum? Excited to go and see the doggy? Do you want to see the doggy? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, so I will see you soon. Excited. Jasper, have we arrived? We arrived. Oh, yeah. See the doggy. We hope we've arrived. Yeah. Typical Welsh night. weather. It's pouring down with rain, so let's go. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we are obsessed one of the puppies that we were able to choose from was actually already sold so we had no choice which was exactly how i wanted it to be i didn't want to have to pick and i'm obsessed with the one that we are lucky to have and it's going to be ours so i will flash up all the pictures and videos that i took now jasper absolutely loved him um they got on really well he was like trying to pull his trousers down and they were playing and jasper was giggling so yeah it's very exciting the family that we are buying pup from is just one of, like amazing like we couldn't have picked like a better family to buy the pup from they've been raised beautifully um they're very happy we also met mum which is obviously really important and she was just beautiful um and yeah so we've now just stopped for a bit of lunch well we're going to we're actually in a car park somewhere in wells um and we're gonna stop and have a little bit of lunch and then we're gonna hit the road back home and yeah but i will keep updating you guys i want to just film this whole story this whole documentary and yeah just to look back on and to remember how small pup it was but yeah enjoy deposit's been paid and yeah it's all very exciting are you excited jas are you happy did you enjoy seeing pup yeah, yeah? did you like playing with the doggy yeah. yeah so we're very happy here hi guys so i thought i would just jump on because it's the 7th of october today which is a wednesday and we got told today well yesterday that we can pick our puppy up on friday which is in two days time so as i want to like document this whole experience i thought i'd just show you a few things that i'm currently setting up at the moment because we kindly a friend of ours kindly let us buy her old crate from her which she used for her dog so it's like a medium sized one which we will use for our pup Sid um until he gets a bit bigger so I thought I'd just show you that I'm setting up at the moment so this is it here it's in perfect condition I mean they've really looked after it and it's all been clean this is the blanket she always gave also gave us as well and then this is just the dog bed that I picked up today in pets at home so it's like a tr like a doubly triply thick one and it's got a really like it's got a firm base so it really sits in nicer and then this top bit is super super soft um and also uh, we're trying to so i'll talk more about this another time but we are basically doing crate training which i know there's a lot of like pros and cons for um but we're gonna give it a go we're not gonna force anything if it doesn't work it doesn't work but with having a toddler and a young like a young child we know that both jasper and sid will need time apart and time to relax and it's really important for a dog to have like a safe space where he can go and retreat and feel relaxed and calm so this is why we want to do this and obviously for the nights as well um so i'm also just putting the whole bed in there because i don't want him to see it as a toilet i want him to be able to go to the toilet outside i'd rather wake up in the night and let him out to the toilet than him wet in his bed um so yeah so i've just been setting that up there's a couple of um, toys that our friend also gave us, but I've just popped in his little cuddle toy, which is this little dinosaur, which we bought from Pets at Home. So that's going in there to be all cuddly. But I wanted to start getting out now, so over the next couple of days that it will start to get our scent and our smell, so it'll be a little bit more familiar to him when he's back um, living here with us to have our scent. So yes, um, I did also pick up, I also ordered on Etsy his water bowl, which I've personalised, and then I just picked up this today. So I picked up this here for his bowls, and I also got this one just to have as his, his like food bowl for now. Obviously he's gonna have a big appetite as he gets bigger, so this is just a uh, one to have for now, so it's not too overwhelming for him. And then just an array of toys and treats in here we've got the lilies puppy chicken and salmon training treats and we've also picked up the harrington's ones they're all very like fresh and grain free which is really important and then loads of just like nibbly chew toys poop bags and stuff like that and some more like squishy toys here i also picked up uh, the neon smart cam so that I can keep an eye on him. It's basically a baby monitor. Um, I got this here, which is from Pets at Home. It's really tough, tiring, which would be really good for him teething. A Kong duck, all sorts. So I'll do a separate like video of what we actually use and what we don't. So I'll do like a 
must have um puppy essentials video at some point and like as he's playing with things i'll talk you through it more but i just wanted to do like a little update to have like two uh, two days before sid arrives home and just how we're getting a bit organized and yeah i'm very very excited um but yeah sorry if i'm whispering a little bit jasper's asleep upstairs so i'm grabbing my time while i can but i also wanted to set this up now so jasper also gets used to it being in the house so yeah very exciting Good morning, it is October the Something. 9th, yes it's October the 9th and we have just stopped off at Costa to get a, a decaf iced latte for me as, as always and Dan has got a mocha and then we picked, picked up a blueberry and Rolo muffin. But yeah I just want to start this because we are currently in Wells somewhere, Ag Abergavan, <laughs> <laughs> Africa Vanny. Uh, we're on our way to pick up our puppy because today is the day that our little pup is coming home um, and they live like near Brecon Beacons so we're about an hour away we've not got much longer left um, and yeah we're so excited Jasper is not with us today because we thought we would just go without him to make life easier so it's not like a four hour round trip but yeah our lives are about to change and we're so excited um, we are ready got our coffees we're halfway through we've got the music on we're having a good sing song and super super excited also it's not currently raining which as you know last time we came it poured down so it's nice to be driving with a bit better weather um yeah very excited so i will update you when we have picked up our little pup although we've already forgotten the collar and lead um, but we've got all the gear in the back ready. So we've got towel, blanket, puppy pad, everything. So if it needs a wee or anything. But yeah, let's go and get our new addition and bring him back to his forever home. How are you feeling? Excited. Very excited? Very excited. Yay! We've just pulled up. <laughs> That's good timing, isn't it? Yeah. Really, yeah, so we got, it took a little bit longer only because we got caught in a little bit of traffic and roadworks, but yeah, we've just pulled up, so it's time to go get the puppy. I feel a bit nervous now. I feel a bit nervous? Yeah. Why? That's a big deal, isn't it? Be excited. Yeah. Yeah, let's go get our little bub. Go get him. Dan and I said we feel quite sad because obviously we got to take it away from his mummy and his sisters and brothers, but... He'll have a very happy life with us. Certainly will. Let's go get him. He's got brother Jasper. Yeah, let's go. Look who we've picked up. It's our little baby Sid. Hello, darling. Hi. You ready? So we've got him and we're ready to take him back to his new home. Are we, darling? Hello. Hi, do you want to come and have a cuddle? Let's go. Come. Say hi, Sid. Hiya. Is that you? So he's a little bit anxious, bless him, but that was expected. But he's okay. He's just led on his little blanket that smells like mum and siblings. We've got a little blanket here of ours as well, so he's getting used to our smell. And he's got his little dinosaur teddy there, so. half left so he's done half hour and he's doing very well he's loving looking out at the trees and stuff actually just exploring aren't you all the smells he looks massive at the camera so we are in Gab Ag <laughs> Gabber. We're in Gabber We're in Gabber Gurgani. Uh, we just stopped back off with our addition um, back at Costa actually to get a panini well, we because we tried to go to McDonald's but they got no veggie options on. And as you know, I'm a pescatarian and they didn't even have the fish fillet when we looked at the menu. And yeah, so that's just out of order really. They didn't eat, have any veggie dippers, nothing. So we stopped off and well, I've got a. Going on. It's alright, it's parcels. Wow. Um, yeah, so I've got a mozzarella, tomato, panini, and Dad's got a tuna melt. And Sid is currently climbing up me. But yeah, we got just under an hour left of the journey to get our little baby boy home. He's doing so well. Aren't you, my darling? Yeah. Nice kisses. But he needs. 
me to have a sleep, so let's hope he actually dozes off for the last hour. Wish us luck. Got our nice fence out ready for him. Right, Sid. You should go out the back because it's not mad, you? No, put him down. Mm -hmm. Time to have a wee wee. Close that now. Have a wee wee. There we go, darling. Have a wee wee. Shot over to the mud yeah. side. Can I have a wee? Good boy. He's going. <gasps> Good boy. Well done. We need a treat. Well done. Oh, that's a, treat. a big long one. Getting a treat that. Well done. He's still going. <laughs> oh, darling. Well done, little baby. Well done, you. Yeah, do you want to have a little treat for being such a good boy? Oh, Sid, what's daddy got? Yeah, Sid, look. Sid, what's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, yum. No, you don't want Not to. Not yum. Okay, in you go. Go on then. Can go inside? Come on then. Welcome to your new home. That's Thank it. You. Have a good little sniff. This is your new house. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <gasps> wow, wee. <gasps> Welcome home, darling. Oh, a bit more. 
Oh, well done, darling. Well packaged. <gasps> What's our Sid doing in his new garden? What's that? You've got a leaf. You've got a leaf. Are you going in? Oh, good boy. You've got up there all right. You've got up there all right. Didn't you? Watch out. Watch out. Oh, good boy. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> run, 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 run. You happy boy. You happy boy. Yeah. Hello, look at that tail. You are a happy boy, aren't you? <gasps> run. He was so good. Hello. <laughs> so far, we've had... <laughs> One wee outside, two poos in the house, and two wees in the house. So he just goes like automatically, like there's not even really like any signs. So like he sniffs, he's obviously sussing out his smells at the moment. Ah, no. He's obviously sussing out his smells at the moment. So he's not really, I mean, he's just needing to go to the wheels. So we're just playing. He's just starting to nip a little, like, nah, ah. He's, I think he's overtired basically, so I'm just trying to say no to him and I'm trying to distract him with toys instead. Sid, Sid. Because I don't want those little teeth nipping on me. So I'm going to go get his mum's blanket. And I think we're going to go have a lie down. Come on, shall we go to your crate? Oh yeah, we have given him a bit of food as well as you can see and I have just put a puppy pad down because he's trying to go in the kitchen. So I thought I could put one down for now, but this is mum's blanket. Hello. Jazz. Hello. Jazz, do you want to see your new friend? Yeah. Hello, <laughs> darling. Who's that? Who's that? Are you little mate? Who's that, Jazz? Is that Sid? Sid the Is that Hello, Sid? Sid what do you think, honey? Oh, look at your hair, mate. <laughs> yeah, Jasper's hair oh. and his hat off. Is that your coat or is someone had a wee in a corner down here? No, that's um a bit of water. Oh. <laughs> go see. <gasps> Who's that? Do you want to go see Daddy? Go on there, go find Daddy. He's gonna follow you. Is that Sid? Is that our new doggy? We had one struggle, but we've got a bigger one now. That's it. Oh, <laughs> well Nearly. done. You must run after it. Isn't that right, Jess? <laughs> That's pineapple. You be careful, <gasps> please. Is he playing with his pineapple? Hold this, Jess. Did his towel get you? <laughs> you can get on here, I don't know you can get on here. <laughs> Careful. You too. You get stuck up with. Hi guys, sorry about the lighting and the appearance. As you can see, I've now taken my makeup off. But I am. <laughs> I'm going to sign this vlog out now of this bringing our pup home video just because I'm going to probably film tomorrow as well which will be a day in the life with a new puppy um, and it would just be like how the night went so let us know I'll let you guys know about that but yeah he is beautiful he's been playing really well he's been sleeping he's been going in and out of his crate on his own accord as well he's loving his beds that we bought him he's currently just playing with his toys and yeah he's just been really really good he's had a few visitors today so he's just been spoiled really so yeah i'm just gonna sign this out now i'm full of adrenaline and full of emotion but i'm also exhausted um so we're just gonna play with him he's eaten his three meals today so we're just gonna let him do what he's done lots of poos and wiggies so yeah we're just gonna play with him chill out then pop him to bed and i will see you in the morning to let you know how this goes <laughs> Wish me luck, fingers crossed.
Hello, hello, hello. Look at you, look at you, look at you. Who's coming? Who's coming? Where's my little Jasper? Sid's got to nip it in that. <laughs> <Maybe. laughs> oh. oh. Is that you? Is it you? Kiss it. No nibbling, no nibbling. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Oh, it's the Jasper. He's coming to see you, Sid. And then he got straight down. That's why. I think Sid wants to play with your tractor wheels. What's he doing? Hi everyone, so sorry, I basically said I was going to film a day in the life and then didn't because we kind of just wanted to use yesterday which was Sid's first like full day. Like we picked him up on Friday, then yesterday was Saturday um, and we kind of just wanted to like enjoy it and not be thinking about the camera but I've got a little bit of footage that I'll probably insert but I just wanted to quickly talk to you about how the nights went because obviously in the last video you guys would see that I spoke about how the night's going to go. So basically, I do not want to jinx it but he's been a dream. So the first night he went down about half past ten in his crate because we're crate training um, just because obviously we have the, the little one, we want to make sure that Jasper and Sid are both having like time apart and Sid's got his safe space and Jasper knows and that sort of thing. Um, so during the day we just leave the crate open all day and he can go in and out as he pleases. And then the only time he goes in with us shutting the door is if we go out or bedtime. Um, so yeah, so he went down at half past ten and then Jasper was a bit up and down during the night So around half past three Dan got up and he actually went down and let Sid out But Sid hadn't asked to be asked out um, asked to go out when we actually put him in the crate to start with He was like whimpering a little bit, but we stayed with him until he was settled and then we literally didn't hear a peep um, So then when Dan let him out at half past three he did a massive wee um, and then came back up and didn't hear anything from him until like half past seven when Jasper then woke up for the day and we looked at the monitor because we've got a Neos camera to like keep an eye on Sid so we looked at that and he was just in there playing with his like little snuggle lamb which is a lamb teddy that has like a heartbeat sound in it to make him feel like he's like with his mum and his litter and stuff um so that was amazing and then we had the whole day with him yesterday and we did actually pop out for just under an hour yesterday because basically Dan and I are obviously both working people and we are in and out of the house so from get-go we wanted Sid to be aware that he's not going to be with us 24 hours a day um he is going to be left but also the reassurance that we will be returning home so we went out for an hour yesterday and he was good as gold he went in his crate no whinging or crying and he slept which was amazing so he got some time to himself and then last night basically the same we put him in about half past 10 went up to bed and did not hear a peep until 5 a.m this morning when dan then went down because he was whimpering so dan went down let him out in the garden and he did a massive wee a massive poo and then he went well he basically wanted to play a bit then so dan stayed down with him for a little bit gave him a cuddle 
played with him. Yeah. Went back in the crate. Dan was back upstairs by about quarter to six. Um, and then he slept then till like just gone seven. So, so far so good. We did pop out for half an hour today. Um, he was a little bit more whimpery this time. He actually settled not long before we got back. Um, <laughs> But I basically think that the timing was a little bit wrong and he wasn't that tired. Here he is. And he just like wasn't that tired. Um, but you know, he's got to sort of work around us as much as we work around him as well. But he's been eating fine. His toilets are actually getting a little bit firmer. TMI, I know. But um, obviously with the unsettlement of being in a new environment. But yeah, he is just absolutely loving life he's enjoying eating lots of leaves and he loves playing in the garden he loves out the front garden because we got the front and the back um and he's loving it him and jasper have been getting on fine there's not been any sort of like problems as such he's actually been really good today because jasper's under the weather he's got a bit of a cold um and sid's actually kind of like left him alone a little bit which they know we know dogs pick up on all sorts of emotions and stuff um but yeah he's a really good boy he's just like having a baby again i feel like dan and i are adjusting to this quite well touch wood i don't want to jinx anything touch wood at the moment because we're kind of still in that baby phase with jasper like jasper's over a year and a half now but we're used to like having a routine of like when to be fed when to sleep um waking up in the night so we kind of just flowed into that with sid but obviously in dog form rather than in baby form but yeah we're i just wanted to like add this on the end of um the vlog that will be going up and then i will film a like day in the life with a toddler and a puppy very soon um so there is going to be a little bit of like doggy puppy content coming onto my channel as well as still all the baby toddler content and if there's anything you want to see like a yeah like a um puppy essentials that we found really helpful those sort of things in the next few weeks then let me know but yeah, I think I'm going to sign this vlog off here. I'll insert some like cute pictures or videos of Jasper and Sid. Now he is just chilling down there. He's so gorgeous. He's so calm. Like I had my mum and my stepdad are over earlier for my stepdad's birthday and he just slept like the entire time. He's such a good boy. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up for me and I hope you enjoy this next chapter of my content, my channel, my life of being a fur mama as well as a human mama. Um, but yeah look at him don't forget to hit subscribe for all the puppy cuteness and content and just to keep up with me in general excuse me off there and i will see you next time bye say bye bye sid just a wave bye bye, bye. Say bye, -bye.